In this video, I'm going to tell you about what I think that hashtag new 40k is going to do to Kill Team. Still no haircut, still fez, it's still hot and muggy up here. So last Saturday, there was a big Twitch announcement on the Warhammer TV Twitch channel, and they talked basically just about Warhammer 40k, and basically just about the new edition of Warhammer 40k that's going to be coming out at some point. Um, it's 9th edition, although they generally didn't call it 9th edition. They generally called it the new edition of 40k or hashtag new 40k. So I, that's a marketing thing. You see Apple do it a lot where you're, they're like, oh, no, this is just the new iPad. You mean like you mean iPad 12? And they're like, no, no, it's just the new one. And then no one can tell which one's which. And it's I don't know. I don't understand it, but it seems to be a little bit of what they're doing with the new version of 40K. And they talked about new models and they had a really cool new video that showed off like a, a trailer of like, you know, Space Marine and a, a, a sister of battle and a Necron and all that stuff. You know, spoiler, there was shooting. Um, but you should check that stuff out if you're interested. And as I was watching, not just the trailer, but the whole presentation, I started thinking to myself, but what about Kill Team? The main new development that came out of this presentation that made me start thinking about Kill Team was that uh, unlike earlier versions of 40K, which did not work at small point sizes very well, uh, you could play Combat Patrol. That was kind of a popular thing in 5th and 6th uh, editions of 40K. That's how I got into 40K, strangely enough, was through Combat Patrol, which were 400-point armies. You couldn't have any, arm, any models that were, I think two wounds or, or three wounds or more and there was like you know all this there's all these special rules and it was different than kill team because you still played at squads and all that kind of stuff you follow the normal 40k rules but it was a much smaller little group of folks and some armies did real well at it because they could do well at small point sizes and the other ones had a tendency not to and so it was just kind of imbalanced and not great the game has always worked best, 40k, at larger point sizes. It is an army-based game, 1500, 1750, 2000. I mean, these days, in the days of 8th edition, most people play generally 2000. If you go to any good, good tournament, it's probably 2000 points. So they made a point in the explanation of what's going to be changing in 9th edition that now you'll be able to play 500 point games during lunch and it'll be great and it'll be just as much fun as if you were playing a 2000 point game that takes you a good, better portion of an afternoon and when they announced that my thought well but kill team is kind of the niche for that particular thing so so what does this mean for kill team Interestingly enough, as they were doing this presentation, evidently on the Warhammer community site, they released a document and then evidently pretty soon afterwards got rid of it. And it was a 9th edition FAQ, a new 40K uh, FAQ. And it was not an FAQ in that like, oh, he, these are erratas and these are rules that we goofed up. It wasn't anything like that. It was more for people asking questions about 9th edition before it comes out. And evidently right now you can't find it, but there are websites where people, you know, grabbed a copy of it and whatever before it was taken down and they've like analyzed and poured over it and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not really going to talk about much of it, but there was a paragraph that starts with what happens to Kill Team. Quote, absolutely nothing. It's still there, and it's still great. Kill Team is its own rule set, so it isn't affected by changes to the main Warhammer 40,000 game. However, with new additions come new models, and several of these will be infiltrating their way into kill zones in the near future. And then parenthetically says, and the far future. Which I assume is a reference to the fact that, you know, Warhammer 40,000 is 38,000 years roughly from now. So I'm assuming that's what they mean. So... Um, they're saying in this FAQ, if this FAQ is actually to be believed, although it was released on their website, um, nothing's going to change as far as Kill Team is concerned. But because there are new models coming out, we're going to have obviously new Necrons. Um, there have been, you know, the Warriors are just changing, but they're also getting a different gun potential, so you'd need to know that. Um, Assault Primaris, that kind of stuff. But they're basically saying, yeah, it's a completely different rule set. Well, not completely different. They're based off of each other. If you play 40K and you sit down to play Kill Team, you basically know what's going on. You understand it. There are things like the injury roll and different things like that, activation orders that are different. But basically, strength, toughness, weapon skill, ballistic skill, all that jazz pretty much translates. 
But the question is, if Kill Team was designed predominantly to get newer players into the hobby because it was a relatively inexpensive buy-in, you could get a Kill Team built for about 50 bucks, which you may have watched that video at some time in the past. If you haven't, pachow. And you can have enough of a playing force in that amount of money that you can have a really good time and play some really fun Kill Team games. Now, if the idea is that you can play much smaller 40K games, are they using this? The concern is, and it's partially my concern, but I've also been seeing it a lot online, the concern is that they're going to focus less on Kill Team because they're not going to need it as a vector to get newer players into the bigger game, 40K, because 40K will now get players into 40K by having the ability to play decently with smaller armies. Now, the thing is, and this is my opinion personally, I think f the reason I, I play Kill Team currently and, and I don't play 40K is because I prefer the rule set for Kill Team more than I prefer the rule set for 40K. I prefer the activation. Um, I prefer the changes to cover and a bunch of different little things like that. It's little tiny things and also the fact that my, my models don't have to move in squads. So is this something that they're doing to eventually say, well, we're going to get rid of Kill Team? I don't think so, but I think it is another entrance vector. It's another way for people to get into the hobby and get to make even more choices about how they want to get in. Currently, if you decide to get into Kill Team because you want to get into wargaming in general, modeling, or you want to get into Games Workshop, or you want to get into the 40K kind of mythos and play within that realm, Kill Team's a great way to start because you can use normal 40K models that you can get in pretty much any shop. And you can take those models and over time, if you wanted to, you could at least use them as a starter to build a bigger army to get into 40K. But you don't have to. You can do the type of thing that I do where you're getting a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I've referred to it as the buffet approach before, where instead of having to build an entire army of Grey Knights, I can build five and use them. And then I can do some Death Watch and I can do some Tyranids. And I'm not interested in doing entire armies. I can just do a little bit. The trick is, is that now you can evidently with Ninth Edition do the same thing, but you'd be playing the actual 40K rule set and not a different rule set, uh, which, you know, like I said, there's definitely things that are the same in Kill Team in comparison to 40k, but there's also a lot of differences in the way that the actual activations happen and the way that, you know, you're moving in squads versus moving as a skirmish game where everybody's separate. So it kind of depends as you as the beginning player are thinking about it, like what's my end goal? Do I just want to taste a little bit of every army and have that really cool hobbying thing happen where I can do a little bit of this and a little bit of that? Or am I interested in getting into 40K because eventually I want to have an entire army of Eldar or whatever, but I really like the whole concept, even in my own hobby, let's say, this person might think to themselves, of having like an escalation, not an escalation league, but an escalation, you know, that's how I move forward in my hobby. You know, I'm going to decide this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start build 500 points and play 500 points with me and my other friends who either already have armies and are willing to play at a smaller point level since it's going to be allegedly uh, easier to do in ninth edition, or am I doing this because me and my friends are all getting in at the same time? And we thought to ourselves, if we get into kill team, we can play kill team. But if we get into this, we can eventually build up, escalate until we get to full blown 40 K. So the question of whether this is a good thing or a bad thing for kill team is a good question. They mentioned in that paragraph that there's new models coming out. And so therefore there will have to be information for kill team for those models. Let's say, you know, assault primaris I could see is definitely being one. Okay. Well, most likely those will start out uh, in like a white dwarf as they have in the past with other things. And then eventually they'll end up in the, um, chapter, not a chapter approved, the, um, Kill Team Annual 2020, which will probably come out after the summer, maybe in fall. So, I mean, we've not seen a lot come out for Kill Team in a while since the, you know, the Kill Team Annual 2019 that I can think of. If there's anything else that's come out for Kill Team since then, put it in the comments below, but I can't think of anything. And because of that, that's why a lot of this sort of gnashing of teeth about are they going to get rid of Kill Team, I think has, has kind of come about online. 
I don't think they are. I think they're maybe not necessarily going to put a ton of effort into it until maybe 2020, uh, you know, Kill Team Annual. Um, again, maybe some, like I said, some White Dwarf uh, articles and things like that. Some maybe add on data sheets, data cards, whatever you call them for these new models that come out. But I don't really see them pushing hard into it. They're basically still going to keep these two things happening. Either you're going to get into 40K through Kill Team or you're going to get into 40K through 40K, 9th edition, because of the much better ability to play smaller point sizes from what they're saying. And I don't think that this is a bad thing. I do, to some degree, worry about Kill Team. But on the other hand, I also don't need them to constantly put out new stuff all the time. A new book, a new book, a new book that I then either have to pay attention to or buy or, you know, like something like the, 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 the Kill Team Annual, like that kind of changes rules and changes things. And so now what I want to play at the bare minimum, I kind of need to have the core book and the Kill Team Annual. Now, admittedly, you can ignore pretty much any book you ever want to ignore other than the base one that actually gives you the core rules. You sort of have to pay attention to that. But Elites, Commanders, Arena, all that other stuff, that's what's cool about tabletop games in comparison to video games is you get to choose which add-ons you're going to, you know, kind of work with and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, 30 years from now, I could still be playing the original core, you know, Kill Team 2018 book with me and my friends and we can be having a great time. But... And like I said, I don't need to see a lot of new stuff coming out, but I do see them as a company always thinking about new ways to get people into the hobby. And for 40K, it was kind of Kill Team, and now it sounds like it's going to be Kill Team and also 40K to help get new people into 40K. And I think that's a good thing for the hobby. I'm still not 100% sure how good it is for Kill Team.